Hi, Damien from Powdari. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up some basic business information. So to find this, you go over to the main menu, click on Setup, and then Configuration. So first, let's look at Business Info. This is where you can change your business name if it was uh, if you want to use a name that was different to the one you use to set up your trial. Um, you can enter your um, ABN uh, or your business number depending on what country you are in. Um, the appropriate uh, reference will will change um, here, so you can add that in. Select the country um, that you operate in. Most of the time, we will have picked this up automatically when we created the uh, trial, but uh, there are cir circumstances where this uh, may be incorrect. So you can select your uh, country, your time zone, and finally um, your locale, and then um, click save changes and that is um, done. Next uh, I'll just look at locations. You may operate from more than one location. So over here we can see there's a locations menu. Um, I've added a few locations to this account um, already but you can simply click on add location um, enter in the basics of the um, name of that location, address, and, and so forth. Um, now, one interesting thing is you can actually change the color um, of that location. Um, so if we were to change a color of a location, um, it will change the background in the diary um, or in the calendar so that when you're looking at it, you can see which location um, you're at. So I might actually just show you a quick example of what that looks like. Um, so if we were to take this sort of Hawthorne location here, um, and I'll edit that and change it perhaps to sort of a light color like this. Um, and then we were to save that. What we'll see is that in the main uh, diary uh, and calendar area here, um, if someone's rostered at that location, so James in this case is rostered there, you can see that the background color has that light green where, for instance, Renee is still um, white. So just back to this configuration and locations. You can add as many locations um, as uh, you need to, uh, and you can roster clinicians at those uh, locations. Okay, let's have a look at the calendar display next. This is the start um, and end time that is shown in the calendar. So you can adjust this. Uh, and what we're referring to here is if we look on the main calendar, you can see this shows from 8 o'clock through to 8 p.m. But you may want to um, show different hours. So if we go from to there into color, uh, calendar display, um, for instance, we could say, look, we actually start, you know, at 10 a.m and finish at um, perhaps 9 p.m. I'll just save changes and show you what that looks like. You can see now the calendar starts at 10 and finishes um, at 9 p.m. So you can adjust that to suit your particular business uh, needs. The other thing you can do here in this calendar display is change the uh, minutes per calendar block. So you might run, say, 15 minute um, appointments and it may make more sense for you to have um, your calendar broken down into 15 minute increments. So if you were to um, save that, what you would see is that when we look at the calendar, you'll see it's now broken down into 15 minute increments. So you can adjust that um, as you need to. You can also um, adjust the size of the calendar um, blocks and that just suits um, different uh, different styles and preferences. So you can adjust that to be small um, all the way through to very big. Okay, so finally um, I'll show you how to um, adjust these other options here, these reminders um, and invoices we'll actually do in a separate video because um, there's a bit more content to that. Uh, but I'll just jump through here to communication uh, quickly. And this is where you can add in your um, business email address. So by default, where when you send emails from Powdery, they will come um, from that address. And importantly, replies will be sent to that address and also the name um, that you would like to show in your um, in your email. So who the from is uh, sometimes it's not the full business name. So you can adjust that here. Uh, you do have an option to send mail via your own server but uh, giving that um, the default setting which is to use Power Diaries um, 
uh, default server to send your email. And uh, if you are interested in sending an uh, email from your own server, then if you just search our help desk um, for a mail server or sending via mail, my own mail server, uh, you'll find some instructions on how to do that. Okay, that's it for.